Okay, so for assessment three, your task is to take the art style that you recorded in, that you um, researched in the previous assessment and apply it onto some, uh, some promotional material. So you will receive this file, template05.ai, and it's an Illustrator file. So by double clicking on it, you'll open up Illustrator and you'll be faced with a plethora of pages with various different things in them. Uh, this could be quite intimidating if you are coming to the software for the first time. So we're going to have a quick look at how to simplify things down a little bit and just make life a little bit easier for you. So the brief is to apply the art style to these various different products that we've got here. So we've got uh, doors, we've got coasters, we've got uh, side of the bar, we've got different bar layouts, iPad apps, splash screens, t-shirts, caps, etc, etc. So you to choose two of these uh, objects and you apply the art style to, to them. Now there's a couple of different choices that you can, um, you can take with this project you could print out the objects themselves and using collage or whatever hand drawn technique you'd like you can um, apply the art style to directly to the page if you're feeling a little bit intimidated with the digital side of things um, if you're feeling a bit more comfortable with the digital side of things then you might want to uh, take some of these items into Adobe Illustrator and actually recreate your art style in uh, inside Illustrator. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Or you might want to take them into Adobe Photoshop and work directly in Photoshop onto them. So I'm going to show you how to do those two things, how to, how to do those three things. So firstly, let's say you do want it to you want to print this out and you want to do it by hand. Effectively what you're looking at here on screen is a number of different pages uh, of this particular document and really you can print any one of these pages out. Now to get a bit of an idea of, of what's what inside Illustrator in terms of uh, what is on what page you can expand the artboards palette which is this very bottom icon here and you hover over it it'll say artboards. If you click on that you'll see that there's a whole list of different artboards and as you click on them you'll see that they will get a thin black border around them. So this is artboard 1 here, artboard 2 is this one here, artboard 3 is this one here, artboard 4 is this one, you can see a subtle dark edge there, artboard 5 is this one, 6 is this one, uh, and 7, 8, and 9. So these artboards equate directly to the page number. So if you wanted to apply your art style to a coaster and the app uh, splash screen then you'd want to print page 2 and page 4. So to do that in Illustrator you can just go to the file menu and select print and this will bring up the print dialog now depending what printer you have installed, that printer will be listed here in this little printer drop-down. And where it says Artboards, this is where you can choose the pages that you want to print. So we wanted to print uh, that coaster, which is page 2, and the app, which is page 4. So to print only page 2 and 4, you would click the range item here, and then you would put the number 2, comma, 4. And that would print only page 2 and page 4. Now all of your other settings should be fine, but you might need to change the scale value here. And you can tell it to fit to page. The option's grayed out for me, but you can actually set the scaling here to fit to page. So when you actually print, hit print, it will actually fit that artboard to the page itself and then you can go ahead and, and start printing onto it. Okay, if you actually wanted to work on it inside Illustrator directly, then what we recommend is you actually isolate the objects themselves onto a new page and then create two different artboards, uh, one for each object. So you're not faced with all nine pages.
So the way we're going to do that is by creating a new document. So in Illustrator menu, File, New. And the document size is going to be A4. So from the size drop down, just make sure A4 is selected. And the main thing we want is a landscape document. So where it says orientation, if you check, uh, select landscape, uh, then we'll get a landscape document. Hit OK, and we'll get our new blank page. And I'm going to go back to the template. And using the black arrow tool, the selection tool, V is the shortcut key. It's the very top tool of your um, your toolbar. I'm going to click and drag a box around the object I want to copy. So I want the coasters in the iPad app splash screen. So I'm going to drag a selection box around these two items. They'll become selected. You'll see that they'll, they'll become blue colored like this. I can then go to the edit menu and select copy. Back to my new document it appears in this tab up in the little tab bar here. And then edit menu paste. And now it appears on my page. Now I want to also get this iPad app screen across. So in my new blank document, I'm also going to go to the artboards panel, the very bottom uh, panel in your default toolbar. And I'm going to hit the little create new button, this little icon that looks like a page with the bottom, bottom folded, that's the create new icon in Adobe, Illust uh, Adobe Illustrator. Hit the new artboard button and you'll see a new page pops up next to the page that I'm working on. So I can just kind of scroll across to that page. Back across to my, uh, my template and I can now do the same thing using the black arrow tool, I can highlight those two iPads. I'm just making sure not to touch any other objects with that little grey selection box that I drag out. Edit menu copy, back to my other document, edit menu paste. If it pastes a bit weird like this I can just use the black arrow tool and I can click and drag it across into the centre of my document. And here, there I've got two my two uh, artworks both on um, on two separate pages in my document. You can go ahead and apply your, um, your artwork to these two pages as you see fit. And when you want to uh, save this file for submission, just make sure you save it as a PDF file. So once you're finished, File menu, Save As. And from the Format drop-down list, I'm going to select Adobe PDF give it a name and I'm going to just hit save. Now it'll come up with a whole bunch of PDF options. There, the, the, the default settings are fine so you can just leave them and hit save PDF and uh, the PDF file will look something kind of like this. So obviously your art style will appear here, but this PDF file will be perfect for uh, submission um, for, your, uh, for your file. Now if you want to use Photoshop, then we can jump into Photoshop and we can open up the Illustrator file directly as is, but we just need to select the pages we want to open up. We can only open up one page at a time. So in Illustrator, if you open the document up in Illustrator first and once again using your artboards you can figure out which page you want to do. So I'm going to do once again page 2 and page 4 for my coaster and my, um, my iPad screen. So in Illustrator I'm going to go File Open and I can open up that, um, that template file, that Illustrator file. And when I hit Open I'm going to come up with uh, some import options and these are the individual artboards, the individual pages that are inside the Illustrator file. So I can click on two first and I'm just going to hit OK and it will open up the document inside Photoshop. You can then apply your artwork directly to, uh, to the coasters there in this, in this file. Once you've finished once again, File Save As, 
And from Photoshop, you can also save, from the Format drop-down, you can also save a Photoshop PDF. So I can save the same uh, f format, PDF format, and that will, um, that will save as a PDF. If you get these sort of little pop-ups, uh, you can just hit OK. Once again, leave the default settings for the Adobe PDF saving, just like in Illustrator, the default settings are fine. Just hit save. Once again, you'll get various different pop-ups. Most of the pop-ups, you can just kind of click yes to, it's fine. They're just talking about compatibility and this sort of stuff. Then I can go ahead and I can open up my uh, second page, because you've got to do two of them. So I'm gonna open up the template. And this time it was page four, is the iPad splash screen. There's my iPad splash screen. You can see that it becomes a little bit tricky to see sometimes. Um, if that's the case, then you can flatten the image. So if you go to the layer drop down menu, you'll see right at the bottom, you'll see an option that says flatten image. If you click that, you'll see that everything kind of goes white like this. Now you can start painting and, and working your artwork directly over the top of the iPad screens. So if you want to work uh, in paper, on paper, then just print out the pages that you want with the corresponding artboard being the page of the, uh, the illustrator that you, wanna, you want to draw over the top of. So if you want to print the coaster, then uh, print page two because the coaster is on artboard two, using your artboards panel to uh, figure out which one's which. If you want to draw directly into Illustrator, then copy and paste your objects onto a new document and then save as a PDF. And if you want to work in Photoshop, then just open up the uh, that template AI file directly into Photoshop, uh, opening up the corresponding page which the artwork lives on. Good luck.